Goeie morgen allemaal. En uh, ek vraag dat ek om verskoring vir my skewe skimme moere. Ek het een redelike groot verkouwe. Ek hoop ek sal die die beeldsetting uh, deur kan maak. Good morning everybody. As you can hear, I've got a terrible cold. And I hope uh, I will last this uh, session. But uh, we've got such a lot of good news. Yesterday was actually to me, the best sale of a season. Uh, where we come through 2023, that wasn't really easy. And uh, especially from uh, Maui's side, uh, the summer season was all right, but the win past winter season, uh, we were really hit by uh, not good amount and uh, prices are coming down. And yesterday there was a total new vibe in the industry. Although, if you look at the statistics, you'll see that it, it wasn't a major change. It went up, yes, uh, and that's good. But to me, the big change was that all the buyers were competing again. Um, the majority of the season, uh, when I say, well, basically from the seven sales, six sales, it was just for two processes, which was buying and bidding against each other. And there was a lot of not sold stuff. But yesterday, uh, all six buyers are competing again. Although not on a massive scale, and uh, we would like that to increase. But um, that shows you that there is a new business out there and that they are testing the waters. So I think that is a good omen for, for 2024. And there's also already demand for stock. Uh, I've already moved quite a lot of stock uh, yet uh, since last week and uh, that's also uh, a very good sign that uh, yet the, the demand is returning. Also what is very good is that it is not just on one age group of, or one category of Maui, it's on adults, young goats and kids. On kids more the finer side. Uh, that's 27 micron and finer. Uh, I think 28 micron is the only micron that there's no demand for. Uh, that slap bag in the middle of a uh, yet of Maui and uh, nobody wants a 28 micron. They want 29 and stronger or 27 and finer. And uh, the first time that I really uh, uh, experienced that. And um, what I was also very pleased of yesterday, uh, we offered 12 tons of 26 micron. Uh, it's the first time that I've seen this on a sale that we had uh, one micron group in the fine kits that is so big and the demand didn't waver. It, it was very good demand. Um, so uh, it's nice to end a year to season like that and looking forward to have at least a positive to, to look forward. Um, in our production area, most of our production area the, uh, is nice and green and uh, there's uh, lots of rain. Uh, hopefully that will continue into the new year. And um, we've kicked off the ram season, the ram selling season, also on a very good uh, basis. And uh, excellent rams were an offer, but there were good demand for good rams. And uh, so it is going well with the industry at the moment. If we look at the slides, you'll see uh, on yesterday, there was uh, 548 lots sold and uh, 522 of that lots were sold. Um, that's 95% clearance. The stuff that is not selling is really heavy CD uh, and all the stains. Uh, there seem to be no proper demand for stains yet, but including in all age groups. And, um, and the other one is the very short stuff, uh, shorter than E. Uh, yet your uh, fringes and that type of thing. And uh, there's also a very limited demand on, on, on that. If you see the price movement on indicators, kids went up with 1% in 
young girls who were up with 1% and adults with 4%. Uh, we will come to the microns that uh, then we will have a better idea which microns moved up. Previous year, the market indicator was 373. We are now at 340, so there is still an 8% difference, but uh, at least the gap is closing. Then, uh, if we look at the price movement per micron group, if we look there at the RMS side, you'll see uh, 20, uh, 23 micron, 24 micron was unchanged. Oh no, 24 micron went up with 1.8%. 25 micron, 1.6%, 26 micron, and I just mentioned that there was 12 tons of 26 micron uh, on offer, and it went up with 3.4%. Um, that I didn't expect, that's a good uh, uh, 27 uh, unchanged, 28 unchanged because I've declared a lot of 28 are not sold. And uh, 29 went up with 1%, 30 were unchanged, 31 micro up with 1%, uh, 32 micro unchanged, 33 micro nearly 2% up, uh, 34 micro 1,4% up, uh, 35, 36, 1,2% up. And the strong stuff, although there's not a lot on offer, went up with 16%. Um, that can be a mis misleading. People, there's four or five bales of strong moe on offer. And um, they've sold on the previous sale for 220. Now suddenly they sell for 250, 255. So um, that also uh, helped. If we looked at the next slide, uh, the exchange rate was virtually unchanged. I don't think it played uh, any role. Uh, the RAND was trading 0.22% weaker. That, that didn't play. Uh, a major factor yesterday. Then on the slide we have uh, we see the uh, indicator on a US dollar terms per kilogram and we yesterday were 1814. Um, as I said previously uh, preferably we wanted it above $20 uh, but at least it's better it, it, it the market turned around at $16. So uh, we two dollars uh, uh, better off than we were. Interesting enough, the average indicator for RMS yesterday was the exact same as on the first sale of the season. So we've gained everything back that we've lost this season, and uh, that's uh, very good news. Then, uh, if we look at the top prices, there I'm at 25 micron and finer. David Short, there at 750 rand a kilo. Uh, he and his brother Lloyd, David and Lloyd, at 700 second place. And uh, the Charles Moore Family Trust from uh, Willowmore. Uh, congratulations, you were in the third highest price, very good bail. 680 uh, rand a kilo. I can mention perhaps here uh, Ben for the and at 670 as well. Then the 26-27 micron group, uh, that to me was the best bale of, uh, yet of, uh, yet of uh, offering. Uh, Lloyd Short of Borden Farming, it's also 750. And in the second place and in the third place. Congratulations, Mo Lloyd. That was excellent, Kid Mowe, winter Kid Mowe. Then, uh, as I went, 28-29 micron. Uh, Charles Moore Family Trust, 515 Rand. And to put this in perspective, I've declared most of the 28 microns not sold. And then they bid between 400 and 420 Rand. This bale of 28 microns for 515 Rand. Sean Hobson, second place, 510 Rand. And then our bidding section at 480 Rand. So that was way above the average and congratulations to those bales. Then uh, the 3031 micro group, Mount Marlow Farming, uh, <laughs> it's difficult, he's Somerset East District, uh, on the border of Bedford, on the border of Craddock Bortimer. Um, but congratulations, uh, it's first time for a long time that we haven't seen Mount Marlow Farming's name on the board, 
wat vir jou 16 en 10 top prize. Ben van der Westhuizen, we het vir jou 51 second place. En we hou's a vibe a binding in the third place. I'm so glad to see our binding section that is well spread through all the migrants in the top three places. Then your 32 micron, house of fiber bidding, clean sweep, all three uh, positions, 284, 283, 282. And then your 33, 54 micron group, Ben for the West has in again, first place, uh, house of fiber, bidding section, and Grootfontein Education Trust, um, in, also in the second place, and Paul Michael van Krellek, there in the third place. Then uh, the 35, 36 micron, there was quite a lot on offer. And there the top price go to Long Acres uh, Farming at, in, in uh, Grafenet. And so as ook Berg Boerderij, there in the Twitter plek, by Gelukka, Willi Jordan. And then Paul Michael in the third place again. Jakko Oelofse, there ook in the third plek. And uh, Widan Farming. Uh, Brett was on the sale yesterday, also took a third place there. And then on the strongest uh, Moe, Ben van der Westhuis and there at 268 Rand for his 37 micron. Uh, also in the second place at 260 Rand and House of Fiber Binning in there in the third place for 260. But then on the next slide, you'll see there a, a bit of a change. Uh, Mosin Falls, nearly 10% of a sale that he bought uh, on a previous sale, he was at 4%. Uh, VVC bought a little bit, but he bid on a lot of bales uh, where he wasn't successful, but he also bought a little bit. Uh, and then Samuel at 41%, Sukhan at 39%, and Zudvula was very quiet, uh, and he nearly bought 5% of the market yesterday. Uh, he's usually the third biggest between him and, and, and Mosin Falls, uh, so hopefully he will be back next season. Konica Alice bought 4%. She usually averaged year around about 3%, so um, that was a, also a very good performance from Alice. And then if we look, move to the next slide, is the first, the first sale of Vans Catalog 8 of the next season will be on the 13th of February in 2024. And uh, I know the closing date of the uh, first sale is the 15th of January, so uh, keep that in mind. And I think that uh, date will be accurate. As you remember, the season, the closing dates that's published, and it's published this year as well, is a guideline, is not very exact. Uh, we are allowed to offer 700 lots per sale. That means that uh, House of Fiber is allowed 450 lots and uh, OVK is allowed uh, 280 lots. Um, the moment when that is filled, we are obliged to stop. Uh, what happened, uh, we don't know the exact lots. So I withdrew some of my, um, uh, some of my bidding lots uh, to fall into this category. And if I can't sell them after the sale, I'm forced to buy them in myself at uh, basically at a valuation price. And um, it cost me a lot of money, but uh, it is in the interest of the industry and uh, hopefully I can sell a lot of those stock uh, yet now, but we do it for the interest of the industry to stabilize the market. And I think it worked well this season, but uh, I think that will be a reality on the, on the next coming season as well. So that is the end of our year and the end of our story. Uh, I wish everybody a very festive season. And uh, I hope you all get a chance to relax a bit and go a bit on, on holiday. Uh, surely I need it. I, I'm quite sure you need it as well. And I know the Afrikaans speaking this by a, by a, for you. 
Ek hoop jylle geniet ook jylle tykje af en uh, wees voorzichtig en onthou waar oor het alles gaan in hierdie tyd en dit is oor die geboorte van Jezus. Baie dankie na allemaal en groete en geseende kerstfeest.